All right. Good evening, everyone. Our weeknight motivations will begin in about two minutes. All right, give me just a moment here. All right, about two minutes to go and we will get started. How's everyone doing this evening? Lovely Wednesday night. Hello, Mary, see that you're on. All right, let me go ahead and check Facebook and then website. Looks good. All right. What's up, Facebookers? Or thanks for jumping on. Let's do a sound check. Sorry, testing, sorry, testing, sorry. testing. Whoa! All right. A little under a minute to go, and we will get started. Looks good. All right, let's go ahead and get started. It is seven o'clock. So shalom, everyone. Welcome, Mouth Pagers. Happy Wednesday. Yam Revi E. Chag Samech. Pesach! Yay! Happy Passover, day three. Hope everyone has had a great day and a great week so far. I am Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco. And Mouth Page is an online spiritual community. We are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live weekend motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service, live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please check out our services either on Facebook or on our website at www.mouthpage.com. For those of you who are new to our community, our weeknight motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. And, try, and I try to make them short and powerful. Usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. So we have been going live now for 16 weeks yay for 16 weeks and we are now over 7500 die hard mouth pagers following us and liking us on facebook so i hope you find our community a place where you could grow spiritually so please tell your friends tell your family tell everyone and let's get our community over 8,000. so we'll please continue to help us grow the mouth page community worldwide. So it is Passover day three. And welcome to the mouth page Passover project. So for the next week, we are going to continue to talk about Passover, the impact Passover had, and we are going to kick off our Passover with lighting a candle. So I'll say a blessing and then I'll in, in Hebrew and then I'll do it in English. So if you have a candle or if you have maybe a, a cell phone you want to click your flashlight on, let's go ahead and let's light up the world and let's honor and welcome Passover. I'll do it in Hebrew first. Baruch Atadonai, Alohenu Melchalam, Asher Kachana B'Mitzvotah, V'Tivanu L'Halik, Ner shall yam tov. Baruch atadonai el hanum al chalom. Shehekeanu vehekeimanu vehekeanu lazman haze. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to kindle the light of the festival day. Blessed are you, Lord our God, king of the universe, who has kept us alive and sustained us and enabled us to reach this day. Amen. All right. Go ahead and light your candle or turn on your flashlight of your phone or turn on some sort of a, a light that indicates that you are ready to welcome Passover. All right, welcome. We are now in the Passover day three. Hope everyone has enjoyed their families and their friends, enjoyed their food, wonderful food trying to avoid 
unleavened bread, which is very, very tough, very, very tough to do. So the last two nights, we talked about Passover. So Monday was talking about having faith. Yesterday was building bonds by actually Kevin Johnson uh, from the Michael Evans Project was our guest singer last night. I really, really, really appreciate everyone for watching. And I know we had uh, a little sound issue, at least I know on my side. Um, we are working on fixing that. So for the next time Kevin jumps on, we will not have any sound issues. Again, that was my problem on my side. Uh, Kevin sounded great. So I just have to figure a few things out on live stream and on Skype. But other than that, it was amazing to have him. I'm so excited that he joined us. Uh, please check out his YouTube channel. Um, it's Kevin Johnson, but it's also the Michael Evans Project. So check it out. You get to see all of his cool videos. He's working on a new one right now, a new uh, album. So let's continue to pray for Kevin and that his band and his music continues to grow. All right, so tonight we're going to do Passover part three, which is building bonds or building relationships. I touched on it last night because I was wanting to show how great it is to build bonds with, with your friends, with your family, and by having music and by having um, you know other people to be able to help us to spread love and joy. So now I wanted to kind of go over and explain that a little bit. So what does... Building relationships mean to you. So how hard is it to build relationships? So we all know it can be pretty challenging to build friendships or build relationships, build, you know, any type of even a work relationship with your coworkers to get along with them, right? Well, let's take high school for an example. I'll use my high school for an example. When I was going to high school, we had groups. You know, you had the jocks over here, you had the people in the band over here, you had the, the skateboarders over here, you had the musicians over here, and then you had the, the this group over here and that group, right? But if you veered and tried to go into another group, then that group might have might outcast you, make, make fun of you, or even worse, maybe beat you up or bully you because you were trying to build relationships with someone outside your group. And how does this building relationship have anything to do with Passover? It has a lot to do with Passover because when you look at the beginning of Exodus, you have the Hebrews are slaves in Egypt and you know, the Hebrews are trying to build relationships with the Egyptians, but no, 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 no part of that, right? There is no part of that. So building relationships is a big deal, building bonds. So let me give you a Torah portion. And thanks for the comment, Marty and Mary, for loving my white jacket. I appreciate it. See, your comments don't go unnoticed. So building relationships, Exodus number 11. Or chapter uh, Exodus one, Exodus one chapter Exodus one part eleven. Whoa, tongue twister there. Say that uh, two times. So Moses flees to Midian. So one day when Moses had grown up, now for those who missed the first couple days, Moses is a Hebrew and now he was raised by the Egyptians. So here he is, he's grown up, and he saw one day as he's out working around, you know, walking around, he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his people. So he looked this way and that, and seeing no one, he struck down the Egyptian and hit him in the sand. When he went out the next day, behold, two Hebrews were struggling together. He said, to the man in the wrong, why do you strike your companion? His own people, right? He answered, who made you a prince and a judge over us? 
Do you mean to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses was afraid and thought, Surely the thing is known. When Pharaoh heard of it, he sought to kill Moses. But Moses fled from the Pharaoh and stayed in the land of Midian. Well, here's where building relationships for Passover really, really begins. Moses is now alone. The story is only a couple sentences, but Moses, you know, grew up and he grew up in the, the castle and with the Pharaoh and all the, the, the amazing things of that type of lifestyle. Now here he is, he flees to a land unknown to him and he knows nobody as he's going out there. And this is where he runs into his wife-to-be, Zipporah. Again, he builds relationships. He, he, he finds bonds within this community. And God also hears Israel's groaning, and they're building a relationship with God. So that's where relationships become such a big part of Passover because we're building relationships. Moses is building a relationship with God. We're building relationships with each other all the time. The Israels, Israelis, Israelites, the Hebrews, they're trying to build relationships with each other. Even trying to build relationships with the Egyptians, trying to get along. I see this so much, even during this year as well as the end of last year, where in America, especially during the election time, you have Democrats, Republicans, and Independents all going at it over the person that they're voting for, building relationships. Does it matter what your opinion or your opinion or your view or your view? It's about getting along with each other on the other issues, not so much just one specific issue. Same thing with religion. What's your religion? Are you religious? Is religion a barrier? Is, religious, is religion one of those things where, oh, but you're not Jewish or you're not orthodox or you're not conservative oh no no oh you're christian but, but you're not catholic you're you're lutheran you're not are we building relationships or are we putting barriers on our relationships because oh you might not exactly see my view we're no none of us are ever ever going to be perfect with each other's views we're not we're not there's no way i'm sure moses's mother didn't have the same views with with Moses, but yet Moses was this this bond, this special person with God that God saw. But I'm sure that Moses and his mom had fights they didn't see, everything the exact same. I'm sure he made her very upset with a lot of things that he did. Same thing with Zipporah. I'm sure they didn't see everything eye to eye. Those of us who are married, I'm sure we have some, uh, we have differences of opinions, but that's okay. It's about building the relationships and the things that matter. Just because we have different ethnic ethnicities, we're different races, or we're different religions, or we're different political affiliations doesn't mean anything about building the right relationship. Yes, you could actually build on a relationship with somebody in your religion group. Oh, you're, a Jew you're Jewish. Hey, all right. But that doesn't mean that you can't build that same relationship with someone outside your group. This is huge because the whole purpose of Passover is to also talk about what the big elephant in the room is slavery. God got to Moses so Moses could help God free the slaves to, you know, let my people go. And we'll get to that in you know, a couple days. But Moses says that to the Pharaoh, let my people go. Well, he wants freedom. Well, that's what this is about. Building relationships is about building a way with a great way with each other to build freedom. Again, we're not all going to see everything the same. 
I'll look at something and I'll see it as white. Person next to me will see the wall and they will see it as an off-white. But the person to the other side of me might see it as a cream color white. We're all looking at the same wall, but we all see different colors. A little variations of the color. Well, that's the same thing with building relationships. We're going to have different ways of looking at things. But it's perfectly normal for that. That's true. But in relation to Passover, this is so important on building relationships with each other. They're trying to build relationships with their groups because they're scared. The, the slaves don't know what they're doing. They're kind of confused. They don't know if they trust anybody because maybe this person is ratting them out because maybe they're taking extra pieces of bread. You know, there's a lot of different relationship buildings that are going on. But then this, this person out of nowhere, Moses, is helping to build relationships and later to come to find out he is the leader of leading the slaves out of Egypt. And none of these people know who he is and none of these people trust him. How does one person build relationships? Well, the biggest, biggest answer to that is God, of course. But Moses had to build a relationship with God too. The burning bush, and we'll talk about that tomorrow, but the burning bush is, is when God first spoke to Moses. And that's a relationship builder right there. They build a relationship to where Moses is like, man, pick someone else to do this. You've got the wrong person. And God's like, no, 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 sit down. No, 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 you got the wrong person. And they're arguing, right? Right there, they're already building a friendship. Because friends argue. Friends argue. Friends disagree. But that's why you're friends, because you can giggle, you can laugh. I'm sure God's like, oh my gosh, pay attention, Moses. You know, that's the beauty of building relationships. That's the relationships. So building relationships, the word of the day is relationships. Now this is a long word, so I will say it quick because it's already uh, running a little longer than normal. So, all right, R, remember to trust God. E, every time you need help, pray. L, let God in to your hearts to help us. A, ask God to give you vision to see his good works. T, teach others to have faith and to help others. I, inside all of us is something special. O, only God knows what's in your heart and never let evil win. S, share kind words daily. H, help others to be nice. There's my tagline. I, invite God's love into your heart. P, pray several times a day to help others and help ourselves. S, say something nice to many people each and every day. So before we end tonight's motivation, I like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. So I'd like to pray for Stan's healing, Bruce's healing, Rabbi Marvin Perlman, who's having surgery on his shoulder, Rabbi Sugarman for a healthy grandson, Catherine's healing, Alice's healing, and Bill's healing, uh, fellow Rabbi Paul Walker, who's undergoing cancer treatment, Ren's healing, Stephanie's healing, Vicky's healing, Ken and Ceci's illness, and Mike's recovery from surgery. And happy birthday to Shelly and John. So I'd like to end with Numbers 6, 23, 27. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. In Hebrew, Amen. I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. Please check out our services every Monday through Thursday live on Facebook and on our website at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday is our Shabbat service. We're also doing a Passover service this, this Friday for our service. So please check it out. And please continue to tell your friends and family about our Facebook page to have them like us and follow us on our Facebook page. Also, if you miss any of our services, we have them all archived on our YouTube channel, which is Mouthpage Spiritual Community, our Facebook page, as well as our website. 
MouthPage is a nonprofit organization, so please feel free to help donate and help continue to grow our, our community. So donations are always, always welcome. So thank you so much. And I want to wish all of you a happy week. Chag Sameach Pesach. Happy Passover. And remember, help others to be nice. God bless. Lila Tov. Love you all. See you tomorrow.